Okay, guys. It is a cold but otherwise lovely sunny day here in the end times and what's left of the paradise of Garfield, Texas here on this uh, lovely fall day, Wednesday, November 18th, November 14th, 2018, I believe. So anyway, I'm sitting here doing what I do every day and that's just trying to figure out what headline from the mainstream media from Yahoo News to highlight is the we are so fucked headline of the day. So guys, what I managed to do, you know, about a week or so ago, when well, a week or two ago, I decided not to do these uh, Doomer headline roundup rants because they were simply taking the entire day and so now I've traded that problem for, for trying to, to pick out uh, just from the daily headlines each day now, uh, the We Are So Fucked headline of the day. Uh, good God, I can pretty much just throw a dart. And uh, so anyway, what are my top three contenders? Obviously, the, the, the default one is uh, to go over there uh, to the former paradise of Paradise, California, where we see teams looking for skulls in ashes of California's deadliest wildfire. No shit, Sherlock. And then, of course, we have uh, the, the truly we are so fucked, terrifying headline, which is too terrifying for me even to read the story. Just the headline, Hillary Clinton will run for the White House in 2020, ex-advisor predicts. Uh, I, 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 I cannot even tread there. So what I'm going to do today is we're going to... Uh, read between the lines of the mainstream media many versions of this report. So I just chose the Associated Press, the mainstream uh, of mainstream media, which the, you know, which probably the other bullshit stories are. So uh, this is a, a combination we are so fucked un- adulterated horseshit headline of the day all over the mainstream media with the hopium pipe smokers. <clears throat> Rare conservation win mountain gorilla population ticks up. Oh, come on now. That ain't even bullshit. That's horseshit. All right. So what is the mainstream media and these uh, limp dick mainstream environmentalists, uh, what, what kind of shit are they trying to ram down our gullible throats today? Take it away, Associated Press. There are more gorillas in the mist. A rare conservation success story, scientists say. After facing near extinction, Mountain gorillas are slowly rebounding. Warning, warning, bullshit alert. On Wednesday, the Switzerland-based International Union for Conservation of Nature updated mountain gorillas' status from critically endangered to just plain old endangered. A more promising, if still precarious designation. There are now, and this is the question, there are now, which implies you to believe that as of, to, as of today, Wednesday, November 14th, there are now just over 1,000 of the animals in the wild, up from an estimated population of 680, 680 a decade ago. Uh, this is Tara Stowinski, President and Chief Scientist of the Diane Falsi Gorilla Fund. 
<clears throat> in the context of crashing populations of wildlife around the world, this is a remarkable conservation success. That was bullshit. The Atlanta-based nonprofit is named for the primate researcher uh, whose work helped draw international attention to mountain gorillas and whose memoir became the basis of the movie Gorillas in the Mist. You know, Diane Falsey, who was murdered by gorilla poachers. Getting back to this clueless bimbo, Stowinski. <clears throat> Quote, This is a beacon of hope. And it has happened in recently in recently war-torn and still very poor countries. Bullshit detected. Take precautions. A beacon of hope in Sub-Saharan Africa. Mountain gorillas live in lush and misty forests along a range of dormant volcanoes in East Africa. Their, their habitat falls inside two national parks spanning parts of Rwanda, Uganda, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Uh, then they mentioned Falsey. They never mentioned Falsey being murdered by, by these guerrilla poachers. This is uh, Anna Mazozera, director of the International Guerrilla Conservation Program based in Rwanda, who at least is a little more realistic. Quote, we have made progress in terms of their protection, in terms of allowing an environment where gorillas can continue to thrive and grow. But it is important to note that mountain gorillas' numbers could still slip back very quickly. No shit, Sherlock. We still have just two fragile and small populations split between the two national parks. Several factors have enabled mountain gorillas modest rebound. The three governments have stepped up enforcement of national park boundaries, areas where hunting, logging, and paved roads are illegal. Oh, come on now. That ain't even bullshit. That's horseshit. Tourism helps too. Visitors pay up to $1,500 an hour to watch the gorillas, money that helps pay for park rangers. Yeah, park rangers to be shot and killed. Uh, this is Russ Mittenmeyer, Chief Conservation Officer at Global Wildlife Conservation. Quote, primate ecotourism done right can be a really significant force for funding conservation. It gives local governments and communities a tangible economic incentive to protect these habitats and species. Warning, warning, bullshit alert. Yes. Hunting in the national parks is illegal. That was bullshit. But nearby residents still set traps to catch other animals, such as antelopes, and those traps can also, you know, like inadvertently uh, trap gorillas. No shit, Sherlock. Yes. This is Kristen Gallardi from another one of these, from Gorilla Doctors, wrapping up 
uh, this story, quote, It is a total conservation win, and there aren't that many of them. Bullshit detected. Take precautions. No shit, Sherlock. There aren't that many conservation wins. And, uh, guys, there, 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 there's so many reasons to be hitting the bullshit detector button out here. For one thing, there, there is no mention anywhere in this story uh, when this gorilla census, the well, latest gorilla census, well, was carried out, as I have reported several times this summer, uh, talk about this bullshit gorilla ecotourism that they have shut down Varunga National Park months ago. I believe back in June, they, there has not been one tourist in Varunga National Park because of all of that, all of that violence going on there. That Varunga National Park is completely, uh, it, it's the Wild West out there. And uh, how many times have I recommended this uh, documentary? I think it's simply called Virunga, V-I-R-U-N-G-A. I don't know if you can find it on uh, YouTube or Netflix. I know you can find it on Netflix, if not YouTube. It's simply called Virunga. And that was looking at what Virunga was looking like about three or four years ago, how fucked those gorillas were. And uh, the gorillas in Virunga National Park are a hell of a lot more fucked today than they were then. And, and they're a hell of a lot more fucked than they were just a few months ago. My guess is that this, this gorilla census of over 1,000 gorillas was, was done before they, they, they abandoned uh, Varunga National Park a few months ago, but I, I don't know whether the may, maybe I can find an email to confirm this. But but even e even if so, guys, I e even if there are one thousand mountain gorillas uh, today to to claim that uh, mountain gorillas are only endangered instead of critically endangered, pull your clueless fucking head out of your clueless moron ass. There is no way, no way that uh, mountain gorillas are, are, are going to survive certainly this century. I will be amazed if there's going to be any left on this planet by the year 2050. Now they do have some in zoos. Um, but it, 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 it ain't going to happen, guys. My, my prediction, in fact, is that the mountain gorilla will be the first uh, of the uh, great ape species in sub-Saharan Africa to go. The, uh, the mountain gorilla will be the first one to go. It's going to be a photo finish between the lowland gorilla and the bonobo. Uh, which one will go second or third? And then the regular, the regular chimpanzee will uh, be the last to go. But there will be no great apes with, of course, the exception of the human uh, in Africa surviving, uh, as I say, if they make it to 2050, it'll be a miracle. But you do understand there will be no great apes in sub-Saharan Africa by the year 2100. Certainly, there will be no wild animals. There will be no wild animals over anything at the, the, the largest mammal surviving uh, in Africa by the 20, by 2100 will be smaller than Sancho Panza, which means 10 pounds. 
every single animal over 10 pounds, certainly every single individual animal in Sub-Saharan Africa will be eaten by the year 2100. If, if climate change and habitat destruction uh, and the illegal wildlife trade don't get them, the bush meat trade will be the final the final coup de grace uh, on every single animal, not just species of animal. Uh, anybody who does not understand that, that uh, every single uh, earthling that humans, humans in sub-Saharan Africa share sub-Saharan African with will be extinct across the board. Uh, you simply need to pull your head out of your ass. The, the, this, this is not a doomsday prophet prediction. This is a no shit Sherlock statement of obvious fact every bit as much that 2 plus 2 equals 4. And as goes Sub-Saharan Africa, so goes the rest of the planet, Sub-Saharan Africa will be the first part of the, the collapse uh, and, and anybody who wants a road map and, and to the rest of the planet needs to look at what's going on in Sub-Saharan Africa today and extrapolate out and you will see the, the future of this planet. And the future of this planet is we are so fucked. But anyway, uh, I'm going to wrap up today's unadulterated horseshit headline. If not the we are so fucked headline, I'm going to change my shirt we're going to go back over to Collapse Chronicles now and see what is on the minds of several Alert Tribes members sending me the latest story from The Guardian by George Monbio titled, The Earth is in a Death Spiral. No shit, Sherlock. But uh, we will, uh, if you want to find out why the Earth is in a death spiral. Uh, come over there and see us at Collapse Chronicles, where I am heading now for Hambone Little Tail at Humpty Dumpty Tribe. Uh, you don't need my sign. We all know why we're so fucked. We all know why the Earth is in a fucking death spiral. There's seven and a half billion reasons why the Earth is in a fucking death spiral. Jesus fucking Christ, we're so fucked. Bye, guys. Well, how do I...